Hello and welcome everyone. So this is a video on how to easily migrate your ASP.NET Core 3.1 solution to the latest in ASP.NET 6. So welcome to this channel and since I am recording on the eve of the Christmas, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a season's best greetings for it. Very Happy New Year 2022. So over to the actual video. Now you need to have the Visual Studio 2022 installed from this location visualstudio.microsoft.com slash vs and once you are there you download the community 2022 which is absolutely free and then you need to re clone the repository. This is the repository where I have put a web API with MVC client 3.1 project which I will convert to migrate to ASP.NET 6. Okay, so what are the steps? So we will go through the entire process and please go from the beginning till the end to get to learn the full process. Okay, please stay with me, bear with me to the entire video to learn the steps and get it to use in your own scenarios. So this is the project, this is the public GitHub repo that I need to uh, uh, clone. So I will just click on code and I will copy this link and then over to my Windows Explorer. So this is my Windows Explorer where I would like to clone this project. So right click, show more options and git bash here. So git bash is a tool which you can download from a site which I will, um, this is a um, command window for the git bash and I will um, put it in the video description where to download the git bash tool. And the command is git clone and copied uh, repository URL and then hit enter and it will clone into this local folder. So resolving the deltas, resolving objects, etc. So now it has already cloned. So if I get back to this site, to the um, my project explorer or windows explorer 5 explorer this is the project which i had created in um, 3.1 and it was um, created earlier in visual studio 2019 now we'll have to open it with visual studio 2022 uh, to get to the latest in asp.net 6 so right click Open it. So I've got several versions of Visual Studio 2017, 2019, 2022. So I'll click on 2022, get it to this side of screen so that you can see. It is still loading the project, and after we will we while we'll come back after the project is fully loaded in Visual Studio 2022. Here it is already loaded. And if you look into this help about Microsoft Visual Studio, this is a 2022 64 bit current version, okay, version 17.0.0. Um, all right, so if you click on this project, Web API, basically, this entire solution is consisting of two projects. So this was Web API project which was written in 3.1 .NET Core app 3.1 that was the target framework for ASP.NET Core 3.1 and this is the Web API consume this is the MVC project which consumes this Web API and this is also at a target framework of 3.1 okay 
Now, one by one, we will come to both this project and change that target version, target framework to net 6.2. Net 6.0 and also in the target framework of this consume project, which is the consumer or Microsoft this MVC project. So, net this is also 6 or 6.0 and we will save both. That is the first step done. We have changed the or updated the target framework. All right, and then the next step is updating the package references. So, how do we update the package reference? You can think of several ways, but the easiest way which I have followed in my tutorial is go to the NuGet package manager. So, I will come to the web API project. Okay. So, you can see the package references, the NuGet package references, these are all having version 3.1.9, 3, 3 is uh, 2.20. What I will do is I will open the web API project, right click, manage NuGet packages, and these are the installed packages. Okay, these are the installed packages which are there, and uh, updates there are six updates. So, Microsoft.isnetcode.json patch is convertible to 6.01. We'll click that and then update. We'll take a wee bit. I'll click on accept. And there are several updates available. So, I will come back after updating all the packages. So, now I have checked all the boxes and clicked on the update. Click on I accept. So, you can see that in updates, which is highlighted, high and there is no packages found. That means all the versions are updated. So you can click on to install and just check for yourself. All right. So all versions, wherever possible to update, they are updated to 6, version 6. This is the version 6 for JSON patch. This is the version 6 for ASP.NET Code.MVC.NewtonSoft JSON. Similarly, for the Visual Studio.Web.Code generation design. Similarly, wherever an update was available, it was updated to the latest version. Now, following the same process as we underwent for the Web API updating the NuGet package, now I have come back after package update for the Web API consume project, which is the MVC project. I just uh, uh, skipped this step because I wanted to save some time on recording. Okay, so this is the practically the same process by right clicking the web API consume and clicking on manage NuGet packages when you get this window and you can look for updates and update all in one go by checking the uh, tick box over here and click on the update. All right. Now I have opened the package manager, manager console. If you know the process, it is you can get it from uh, tools, NuGet package manager and package manager console. And if you see, these are the two projects available. So I'll make it as the default project web API and then issue this um, command. dot net nuget locals clear all so i am going to clear the nuget package cache okay 
just in case there is anything cached. So .NET you get locals, clear all. And hit on enter, it will clear all the local NuGet packages, caches, caches. So it is clearing the clearing the NuGet HTTP cache, NuGet global packages folder. And I will issue the same command for the other project as well. So I'll just go for this default project I have changed to web API consume and issue this copy this and then paste hit enter so it has similarly cleared the nuget package cache wherever the caching was available okay it was cached the next step is to delete the bin and object folders so if you expand these two you will see that uh, bin and so I have not built this project so far so there is no bin or um, object folders all right but um, there there is another way of you know there is a further step of creating a minimal hosting model for the migration hmm. so what is the minimal hosting model that we will discuss in another video it will be in the scope of the um, next video on this uh, series but minimal hosting model sufficient to know that it generates code using uh, um, minimal hosting model where you know there is the startup file and the program file a startup class and the program class are unified into a single program file and we are no more requiring the configure services and configure method as we used to have in this um, startup file so that will be in the next but our project is very much already migrated to asp.net 6 and if you click on this button iis express button but before that we we'll need to let me build the solution okay once at least now the build for both the projects has succeeded okay build to succeeded zero field okay so we have successfully able to build these two projects in the new migrated platform migrated framework so now what we'll do we'll go for clicking the properties and we'll have to make both of the projects as startup multiple startup projects so what will be the actions in the actions drop box this will be we'll make it start although you can get away with start without debugging for both the project but start is better because you can either run this application or run this application without debugging with start but if you are with the start without debugging then if for both the projects if you create the startup object action as startup without debugging then you'll have to always go for this start without debugging to run the both the projects okay so click on apply and then okay and then you can you have the liberty of clicking either of these two buttons it will work the same way so let's click start without debugging now my both of these projects are loaded make sure your api project is running so api is running okay and then click here this is the mvc project at port 44390 and this is the web api project at port 64798 and the ports in your system will obviously vary for both of these projects depending upon your local environment and the ports available on your machine so if i click here it should pretty much run and uh, okay it is loading the project because it's fetching the data from the database it takes a wee bit of time initially Now I get I intentionally did not change this uh, connection string because I wanted to show you something this when this error comes we I got this error JSON reader exception and unhandled exception occurred while processing the request okay so JSON convert serialize list of customer API response now this actually is the reason for getting this error is that 
I had to change the uh, connection string in this project which is calling the WebBPA project which is calling the um, this database initial catalog is the database WebAPI DB okay so this need to be changed to my present laptop server uh, address so I will change that now the, my correct data source which is the SQL server is this I have copied on my um, clipboard and this is the right one so I click on um, this saved it and then I will rerun this application let me rerun it and by start without debugging let's start try again without I have not killed the other two windows let's see if it works so now I've got both the projects running and if everything is all right if it is happy with the change connection string so if I click on here So it gets the customers from the database. Now it's everything is running fine and I can get a customer by ID. If there is a customer with ID 3, it will there. It will basically allow me to perform all the actions. Okay. Back you can go to the order page, see the order, delete the order, you can delete the order. All right. Now just for the before leaving, we can again check whether the it is still on .NET 6. It is on .NET 6 with the, all these updated package references for Web API project and Web API consume project is likewise we have got .NET 6. So, I have been able to successfully migrate to .NET 6 with all the package references updated and the target frame references updated and all the steps that I had followed to, to come to uh, an end of a migration process to the latest and greatest in ASP.NET that is the ASP.NET 6. Thanks for watching.